guys, I'm Natasha from Angelic Whispers and on today's video we're going to be looking at angel cards, angel oracle cards and how to read them. So this is just a basic tutorial on the different types of cards you can get, how you connect with the angels and guides, how to read them um, and we'll do further videos later on in a bit more detail because it's a topic I could talk about all day long. Right, so let's get started. There's many, many different types of cards out there. This is probably one of the first packs that I got, Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards. Um, they're by Doreen Virtue. You'll find that she does most of the angel cards out there. There are lots of other people. Um, there's some really beautiful ones. What I love about hers, I love the artwork. They've always got beautiful pictures. They're very easy to read. They're very positive and supportive. Sometimes tarot cards can be a little bit blunt and to the point. Um, depending on who's reading them obviously but with angel cards they're really supportive and and positive and that's what I love about them so I'll just briefly show you a few of the card decks I've got and then we'll get started on how to read them this is another deck that I've had for a while this came out probably a few years ago now um, this is also Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine it's got absolutely stunning artwork they're beautiful these cards to start with, I've got my bestie angel, <laughs> Archangel Michael, on the back, and they're all silver and pretty. They're quite big to shuffle, and there are 78 of them, um, but they're beautiful cards. They're absolutely beautiful. What I'd say with these ones is take, pay great attention to the artwork, because you will find within each picture there's all sorts of hidden pictures sometimes you'll look at a card and you'll think oh my goodness i've never seen that wolf before and then the next time you'll think wow i've never seen there was a face in those trees they're just amazing so as much as you need to go with your intuition and read the details on the bottom there is so much in the picture as well so take special notice of what you see in the picture and what jumps out at you we'll do a whole session on how to read these cards because they are based on tarot and there's a huge amount of information you can get from them. So we'll do that as a separate session. Put those to one side. You also get fairy cards, um, dragon cards, wow, you name it, there's millions. I love fairies as well, so I've got these beautiful cards. They've all obviously got a fairy on them. Got a little short um, explanation or description on the bottom, so they're quite easy to read if you're new to angel cards. They're beautiful, they're positive, they're lovely as well. And like all angel cards, they come with a little guidebook, which has got a much more detailed description of what each card means. And then another type I've got here is Kyle Gray. He's a Scottish guy. He's absolutely lovely. He's really young and hip and modern. <laughs> and his cards are beautiful. They're also shiny and silver, which I love. They're really modern, and they really appeal to young people, these. The pictures are just absolutely gorgeous and what I love about these is they're the close oh, they're stuck together <laughs> the pictures of each archangel is just so similar to how I see the archangels and that's what I just love about them um, they're really modern they're beautiful like that card of Metatron for me that is just the energy of Metatron it's just beautiful that's how I see Metatron um, yeah, so they're mostly Archangels. They've got all beautifully supportive messages of encouragement. That's another type of card you can get. You will just find millions. If you go into a bookshop or look on Amazon, there are millions. Go for the ones that you feel drawn to because you will find you get on better with some than others. So it's really important just to go for the ones that you feel comfortable with. And I'd say to start with, start with a more basic pack like this Healing with the Angels ones, just with a short description on the bottom and enables you to just build your intuition. Right, so what we're going to do to do an angel reading, to start with, just hold the cards in your hands. And what you want to do is you want to get your energy into the cards. They've either been produced in the factory if they're brand new or somebody's given them to you and they'll be retaining that person's energy. And you obviously want to get your energy into them to do your reading for yourself or for somebody else. So hold the cards to start with. Take a few deep breaths and just send to yourself. 
There's no right or wrong way of doing this. It's all about intuition. Now you need to touch each card and the easiest way to do that is just to skim your finger across the corner like you're a fancy card shuffler. <laughs> so skim your hand across each corner and then what I do is I knock three times on them just to get rid of any residual energy. Then just give them a really good shuffle. Doesn't matter how you do it. You don't have to have a fancy system or a fancy way of doing it, however you feel comfortable, because they are quite big cards to shuffle. So give every card a real good shuffle. Oh, you're doing a great job of this. Right, give them a good shuffle, just until you feel like, okay, that's fine, I feel comfortable with that now. And as you're doing this, just talk out loud or in your head to your angels or guides or God or the universe or whoever you believe in. And just ask that they give you some guidance and help you to be drawn to the right cards or help you to answer any specific questions you've got. Now there's many different ways you can do this. Like I said, there's no right or wrong way. What I prefer to do is I just go to the cards I feel drawn to and I pick as many as I feel comfortable with. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Or you can do past, present, future. Or you can do a 12 month spread. So you put them in a circle with January at the top, January, February, March, and you do a 12 month spread. That's great to do in December or in January when there's a new year coming up. Generally, I prefer just to pick the ones that jump out at me. And you might find while you're shuffling them, one literally throws itself out. Keep that one. It's fallen out for a reason. Or as you're shuffling them, you'll notice one sticks out. Keep that one. Just go with your intuition. Don't think about it too much. Just go with the ones that you're drawn to. Now, what I do is I read each card individually, and then I look at what the whole picture's telling me. So if we start with this one, retreat. So that's fairly obvious to work out, but you've got to think, how does that relate to me and what's going on in my life at the moment? So retreat obviously means pull back, take time, stop, focus on what's going on in your life, give yourself some time to think about what you want. Okay, study. That could mean go back to school and learn something new. That could mean look at more detail in what you're doing and what's going on in your life. That could mean um, take the time to invest your energy into something you enjoy doing and improve your skills. So again, you've just got to think about how does that card relate to me? If you're new to angel cards, you can use the book as well. And if you go through it, it's all alphabetical order. Oh, that's funny, I opened it right on the page. You are engaged in learning and study right now. Your angels guide you to take time to read, listen and grow. And then on the next page, there's a more detailed description. You can read the book when you're starting out, if that's what you want to do, and that is perfectly fine. Or you can go with your intuition and see what it's telling you. But you'll find the more you do it, the easier it'll get. Signs, my favourite. There's signs everywhere. There's signs all around us. The angels are always trying to talk to us. The universe is always trying to talk to us. And we don't always notice, unfortunately. What it just means is, we're giving you guidance. We're trying to tell you which direction to go in. So please notice it. It might be small, subtle things like somebody says something to you and you think, I was just thinking of doing that. Or you read something in a book and it just strikes a chord. Or you hear a song on the radio and you think, wow, that really was speaking to me. Or you find a white feather and that means an angel's near and they're giving you support and, and letting you know they're there. So it's just saying, look out for the signs. Guardian angel, that means your guardian angel is with you. Don't worry, don't be nervous about what's going on, don't feel out of control because your guardian angel is always with you. They've got beautiful pictures and you can read a lot from the pictures as well, so have a look and see what jumps out for you. Divine timing, another one that the universe loves. Everything happens in the universe's time. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how much we want it to happen, it just doesn't always happen when we want it to. So it's saying, don't worry about it. We've got your back. Everything's under control. 
it's happening just as it's meant to. So for me, I've got changes going on at the moment. I'm trying to decide which direction to take my career in. So for me, this if I look at this whole reading, it's saying, just pull back, don't worry about it. Do the things you enjoy doing, learn more about it, take the time to grow and develop. Look out for the signs because we're showing you this is what we want you to do. This is the direction we want you to go in. Remember your guardian angels looking after you and that everything will happen in perfect timing. So that's a very quick um, way of showing you how to read angel cards. The biggest thing I can say is trust your intuition. Firstly, pick a pack of cards, pick a pack of, blah, 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 <laughs> pick a pack of cards that you are drawn to and you feel comfortable with and you might buy one and think no this doesn't feel right but you'll find one that you work really well with again don't worry about it too much you can't ever do it wrong you can't ever make a mistake you can never pick the wrong cards the ones you pick are always for you sometimes you might even need a friend to have a look at them because you are involved in your situation and you can't read them that easily if you want to do a reading for someone else, you do it in exactly the same way. When you're holding the cards and shuffling them, you say, Angels, please help me to do a reading for my friend, Joe Bloggs. Please give me the advice and information that they need. I find it best if I pick the cards. You can let them pick their own cards if you want to. Just remember when they're finished to knock on them. Touch each one to get their energy out of the cards and put your energy back in. So... There are many different cards you can get out there. They all do different things, but these Angel Oracle cards are absolutely beautiful. They, they really are positive and encouraging, and they just give you a bit of guidance when you need it. There's lots of books you can get as well. This one, um, Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's book, goes with the Angel Tarot cards. We'll do another session on this sometime because it just there's so much you can read into them. They're beautiful. But for today, I think that probably covers everything. Just to get you started on your journey. They're beautiful if you need some guidance. You don't need to be psychic or a medium or have any fancy gifts. Anybody can use them. They're really lovely. So give it a go or borrow a pack from someone and see how you get on. Um, if you've enjoyed today's video, please give me a big thumbs up or comment in the in the box below. Um, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to because I'm going to be doing lots of videos about angels and readings and crystals and um, everything holistic basically. So if there's anything you'd like to learn about please leave a comment in the box below and we'll cover as many things as we can. So thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Namaste.